Hello, today I'm here with a new video and this is going to be my introduction to my low buy 2019 and yes I'm going on the low buy for the next year and I have talked about this in two videos before I think and I decided to do a low buy and I first was thinking about doing a no buy but I know I'm not going to be able to do a no buy because it's too much pressure on me. I have tried before and it didn't work at all. So I am going in to a low buy next year and <laughs> I don't really know what I feel about this because in one way I know I have to do this because I have so much makeup right now and so much new makeup and it feels like I don't have the time to test everything. Um, right now as I'm filming this video I have one, two, three palettes that I haven't tried and that I have at home and okay that didn't sound as many palettes <laughs> as I thought it would be but right now I have three palettes here at home that I haven't tried and I don't know when I'm going to try them and I don't want my channel to only be about first impressions and it feels like it has been that for a while now. So I decided to do a low buy and I have made some rules for myself that I have in my book because I can't do this without rules. I need some structure in my life even though I am a messy person I need some structures and uh, some organization even though I'm not organized I live in an organized chaos my whole life feels like that so I have made some rules for myself for 2019 and as for now it's seven rules and I think that is enough I don't know I maybe in like a couple of months change this whole thing put in some more rules alternating them but this is just for a start and see if it works for me and we will see and there is a lot of people doing low buys right now and I understand why I mostly do it because I need to slow down my makeup buys because I buy a lot of makeup right now I love makeup but I haven't I don't have the time to play with what I have if that makes sense and also me and my boyfriend we are saving money to buy a house and right now the house market is like it's crazy and I really really want to move and if I don't buy as much makeup as I do I can spend that on a house instead hopefully or we'll live in this tiny apartment uh, forever I don't know but I think that will maybe motivate me more if I have some big goal to save to I hop into the rules and this is seven rules and I have to read them so I don't say anything wrong and I will I think I will put the rules down in my description box and as said many people are doing low buys I and also no buys I saw it first on LS channel and that's when I started thinking about it and then Angelica Nyqvist has done it and yeah I have seen other people as well if you're doing a low buy like me please tell me and we can support each other because I think we need each other to fix this it sounds like we have a drug addiction or something like we need somebody we need each other it's not that serious I do not have any addiction we get into my rules so I don't uh, talk like forever so the first rule is going to be the hardest one for me I am not going to buy any skincare next year until I run out of my skincare so if my night cream runs out I buy a new one if my cleanser runs out, I buy a new one. If my serum runs out, I buy a new one. 
because right now I have a lot of serums I have a lot of okay day and night cream I have one day cream and one night cream and one backup but like face masks <laughs> I have so many face masks and I want to use them up because I bought them for a reason and I love them for a reason but I have so many that I don't use them that often so it's I'm going to buy a new cleanser when I'm all out of cleanser right now I think I have four cleansers five cleansers I have one butter one oil one mousse one cream okay I have four and that is too much because I only need one maybe two one to take away makeup and one to not so <laughs> I am not going to buy any new skincare before the things I have run out. And that also counts for shower gels and body butter and body lotions. When I run out of it and have nothing left, I can buy a new one. Period. So nothing new until it's out. Rule number two, makeup brushes. I will not buy any new, I hope I will not buy any new makeup brushes 2000 in 2019 sponges are okay because sponges get disgusting and you can't use them forever so sponges is okay I have one sponge now and then I have two backups so I am good for a couple of months and uh, no more makeup brushes because I don't need them I have makeup brushes here and makeup brushes here and this is only my eye brushes I have more face brushes so no more makeup brushes only makeup sponges rule number three is one that I am borrowed from Angelica and that is I can buy new three new things each month if I only buy two in say April I can buy four in May so I can save but only three things each month. The next rule is no more red lipsticks and I love red lipsticks and I have a lot of red lipsticks but I don't use them as often because I do like this eye makeup and it doesn't suit with red lip to everything so I am not going to buy any more red lipsticks because I have a lot of red lipsticks. I will make a video on my red lipsticks Maybe it's already up, I don't know, but I will make a video with my red lipsticks and talk about them, maybe swatch them, and yeah, I will, I don't have to buy any more red lipsticks next year, so no more red lipsticks. The next rule is when it comes to base products, I am only going to buy new base products when I run out of something. So if my foundation is out, I can buy a new foundation. But I can't do it before the foundation I have runs out. The same thing with concealer, primer and powder. So I'm only going to have one foundation or two foundation because I'm so freaking pale. So I, I like have no foundation that fits me. So only one foundation at a time, two if you count with the lightning drops I have to use, only one concealer, one powder and one primer. And now I only have two ro rules left and one is eyebrow products. Eyebrow fixators, like brow gels, they are not included in these three items per month because I need, need that. Um, I, if I don't use any setting to my eyebrows, they doesn't stay in shape the whole day. So I need eyebrow shaping things. And that is not included in my free items. So if my eyebrow shaping thing run out, I can buy it and then buy free new things that month. If you get my point. So my eyebrow gel is not included in my free items per month. And then the last rule is maybe, I don't know if it's like cheating or anything, it feels like this is like a competition or anything and I don't know why. But the last rule is I have two brands that I want to buy from that is an exception from all these rules and it is Blush Tribe and also Linda Holberg. 
that is my two favorite brands at the moment and this rule I maybe will change I don't know um, maybe I am okay with buying free items including from these two brands or I'm not this is just my thinking now in the start that I want to buy from Blush Tribe and I want to buy from Linda Holberg even though I maybe have any item left for that month. I don't know if this rule is going to be changed, if I'm going to take it away or not, but as for now, I won't have it like that. And I think I came up with seven rules for my low buy 2019 and I really hope I can fix this. I don't know if I'm going to making updates about this or not. Do you want to see updates by a low buy? Or maybe I should do in like three months, so in the end of March, if I talk about how it has been these three months uh, or not. Or if I, if I should do it monthly and show, yeah I maybe could do like if I buy three items one month I can do a get ready with me or something and talk about how the month went and also test out these three new things. That's maybe a good idea. I maybe should do that. Yeah, so as you hear I'm not completely... This is not written in stone. You can say that. I maybe change my mind about the rules. I maybe change my mind and put in more rules. I don't know, but... I am going to do this low buy and if you are doing a low buy too, please let me know because it will be fun what you're thinking about it and how it's going for you and everything. So the 1st of January I am officially on a low buy and I wish myself luck and I wish for myself that I will buy a house next year. I hope for it so much because I don't want to live in this apartment anymore. I would be so glad if you can comment in what you think I should do with updates on my low buy. You, maybe you don't want any updates at all. I think I will do more Free Lux One palette this year. I have done like two of these. <laughs> so I think I will do more of that and I don't know what I should do more. I want to do more palette bingos and I think I will do more reviews next year. I hope for it. So if you have anything to say or anything to ask about my low by year, please it's just ask away. I try to answer them as good as I can and I'm going to stop babbling now because I have babbling for a while. So. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribing please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!